hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of multicollinearity or we can say collinearity for short so one of the conditions that you need to actually assume or you need to satisfy before you can actually perform a multiple linear regression is the fact that there should be no multicollinearity so basically multicollinearity is when the independent variables are actually having high correlations with each other that is the variables are correlating up to like having coefficients of let's say 0.7 or 0.8 correlation coefficient so for your multiple regression model whenever you have several independent variable and you have just a single dependent variable and you see that there's this form of high correlation between your independent variables then we actually have multi collinearity but you can't just jump into conclusion that way and conclude that you actually have uh, multi collinearity between your independent variable it obviously makes sense for you to perform one or two tests and one of the tests that we can actually perform to test for multicollinearity is what we we'll call the vif so basically the vif simply means the variation inflation factor and it is actually the measure of the amount of multicollinearity in a regression analysis so the rule of thumb right here is that if the vif of your model is actually more than 10 then you can actually conclude that uh, your data set or your model is actually having high multicollinearity sometimes the threshold can be set to five and it can also be set to three depending on how um depending on how strict you want to be with your information but the standard should be between 10 or 5 so it just depends on you you can pick one i'm going to be sticking with the threshold of 10 meaning if i have a vif value that is more than 10 then i can actually conclude that this regression model actually is going to be having a multi collinearity property very high one so how do we perform the vif test aka the collinearity test all we have to do is to come to analyze okay then we come to regression and then we come to linear okay so i'm going to slot in some variables for the dependent variable and uh, slot in some variables for the independent variable so let's assume our view base as our dependent variable right here and then i'm going to like assume all of those let's pick one two three four for you to select at once you hold down your control button then you take all of them in here so we have just one dependent variable and we have four independent variable before you click on ok you come to the statistics and then you see a couple of stores right here and this is what we need right here the culinary diagnostics okay so you click on that click on continue we really don't need any other thing so we just click on ok now the process we just perform actually gave us a lot of details you know we have the model summary we have the variables entered slash removed we have ANOVA we have coefficients and we have the culinary diagnostics okay but we are looking for the VIF so we come right here we can see uh, the culinary tolerance but this is what we are interested in the statistics VIF so we have the VIF for the car weight the car height the curb weight and the engine size and uh, using the threshold of 10 we can see that uh, all of those variables are not there is no form of multi culinary between these variables because the vif right here for each of them is actually lesser than 10 as you can see 4.038 for car width 1.269 for car height uh 7.475 for curb weight and uh, 4.180 for engine size all of those vif are actually lesser than 10 so we can conclude that there is no multi culinary between the independent variables using a threshold of 10 if we used a threshold of 5 then definitely the curb weight is actually going to be out of it because there is obviously a vif that is greater than 5 so that is actually that and this is how you perform the multi culinary test in spss using the vif if you learned something new from this video and you also enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Do you think I missed something or you have some questions for me? Please go down to the comment section and drop your questions. I will be willing and be happy to attend to them. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.